en Auto 060, como les decía, eh, hablamos ya sobre los nuevos modelos de Mercedes Benz y bueno, cuando vayan al concesionario y vayan a tratar de comprar un auto, eh, aquí hay consejos muy importantes. We're going to switch back to English again because we have Philip Reed from Edmunds.com. How are you, Philip? I'm very good. How are you, Javier? Excellent. Thank you very much for your time again. And um, we were telling about how um, Edmunds.com is like the leader in information about um, new cars, all the specs all the pictures everything uh, that, that you can uh, you will need when you go and buy the car but then there's also another aspect of it which is um, actually the financial terms and and everything that can affect your your your, your credit life or your credit history right oh absolutely uh, my experience has shown me that actually the uh, financing is the most important part of car buying of course selecting the right vehicle and everything is is essential but When, you, when people actually enter the buying phase, they sort of, what we say, you know, cut to the chase and they think of themselves sitting in a brand new car, but they really need to work backwards and think, first of all, how can I finance this uh, responsibly so that it won't impact my budget in a negative way? Yeah, and uh, speaking of which, like you were saying in, in your uh, most recent study that, um, that you offered to the public, is that when they, they, you go to the dealership and one of the first things that the, the, the salesman wants to know is uh, how's your credit and they go and check it and that, that can be very negative for you, right, in the long term. Every time you have, have somebody run a credit check on you, it goes on your credit report and it affects the credit report. So just having people check your credit can actually reduce your credit. Uh, in a lot of cases it's not I mean, the credit bureau try to have a, a very um, you know accurate picture of what's happening but if you're checking your if you're allowing people to check your credit a lot it basically tells people you're trying to get credit and in some cases it may show that you may be overreaching and trying to spend too much money so it can be a negative thing but of course if you're trying to buy a car it's also necessary but you want it done at the right time yeah and um, and you mentioned also that you should say that you're going to buy it cash? Is that a good idea? Because, I mean, most people can can do that. Yeah, well, exactly. And um, <laughs> it's funny when people say I'm buying a car in cash, you think of somebody showing up with a briefcase full of money. Exactly. <laughs> right? Oh, that was in the 80s in Miami, but not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. I, I didn't want to point any fingers, but I think everybody <laughs> thinks of that as kind of the... I know, the, Miami Vice. It, it's funny because every time you go <laughs> somewhere else outside the United States and you mention you're from Miami, Yeah. And people who've never been here, the only thing they know about or they remember is Miami Vice. It's, I don't know. I, I have to tell you a funny factoid. Uh, I actually wrote one of the episodes for Miami Vice. Oh, really? Yeah, way back when, in the first season. But, yeah, so I'm you know, familiar with Crockett and Tubbs and, and the yeah. Ferrari. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> but, but anyways, yeah. Um, but back to the cash buyer thing. I mean, a cash buyer... To a dealer, I mean, like if you were to say to a salesman, um, you know, I'm a, I'm a cash buyer, that could merely mean that you've already got financing okay. from an outside lending institution. A lot of people like to deal, they feel very comfortable dealing with their their their, uh, uh, their own bank or a credit union. A credit union is a good way to, to finance a car. And so if you have a check, and generally what happens is a credit union will... Um, look at your account and probably look at your credit history and say, well, we'll advance you up to $25,000. So they may give you a check that you can write up to $25,000, or they may uh, supply you with the exact amount once you make a deal on the car. But in that instance, you would, at least to the car salesman, be a cash buyer. Oh, okay, I understand. Yeah. And we're talking with um, Philip Reed, a senior uh, consumer advisor at Edmunds.com. And before I forget or anything else and we run out of time, can you please... Uh, share with your audience work and um, they can find all the these fabulous information that you do you publish on edmunds.com please yeah well edmunds.com is e-d-m-u-n-d-s a lot of people um, make a mistake right there and yeah we're um, and, and so we have uh, uh, well we try to have everything that a car shopper will need so in other words pricing information reviews of cars we also my department is consumer advice a lot of people feel very overwhelmed by the car buying um, process um, they feel it's very negative it can be fun and we've tried to make it interesting and accurate uh, and provide all the information not only that but we actually will tell you what dealers to um, do business with and we also recommend going through the internet department 
Almost all dealerships now have an internet department that allows you to begin contact with them from your home and get information about pricing. We also have a service now that where we have a guaranteed pricing with certain dealerships. And okay. people are very concerned about the price of a car, naturally. <laughs> and uh, they feel very comfortable if they can get that price up front. Yeah, I see. So uh, it's a very good idea then to investigate first, like do your homework, basically. Find out exactly what what you want and you what can you afford because those are completely different things most of the well, time. Well, yes, absolutely, and really it would begin with having a pretty clear idea of how much you can borrow if you are going to borrow money, yeah. which would be financing it. So um, you should know what your credit is. Uh, a good way to do this, you know, is to apply for independent financing through your credit union or through an independent lender online, and immediately you will get an idea of what interest rate they're willing to advance you money on. Now, with that in mind, you're kind of protected so that when you go to the dealership, you know that that's where you stand and you don't have to learn from a, a, a dealer, you know, your credit is mid-tier or low yeah. or high. Exactly. You should know that before you sit down and begin negotiations. The other thing, too, is if you have independent financing, the dealership may still offer you a better deal, but at least you have a bargaining chip which is... Yeah, you would have to compete with uh, with uh, whatever you bring in, right? That's right, because, I mean, they really would like to finance you, and you would like to be financed at the best level, but you don't want... But you want to get the best level. You don't want somebody to inflate the interest rate slightly in order to make extra profit off of you. Yeah. So, so you're kind of protected if you do that. You're a cash buyer, and then when they sit down and negotiate and they say, how much do you want to pay per month, you say, oh, I'm a cash buyer. Exactly. And then later in the process, you can arrange a loan if it's beneficial to you. Yeah, and uh, some of the thing, uh, one of the things that people get fooled with is the monthly payment. So you're gonna get an uh, X and X car for one ninety nine a month, but then they don't go and and and, uh, and see the interest rate, the terms of the loan, the length of the loan, like it's. 50 months to I get 60. So that's another thing that people shouldn't even listen to, right? Uh, it's Yes, Ed, you're absolutely right that you should not start the negotiation as a monthly payment buyer because there's no way to figure out based on the monthly payment what you're actually paying for the car. Um, and that's why it's essential to have your financing in place uh, right away because it helps you control the, the negotiation is, is, is kind of the easiest way to say it. Yeah, it's very interesting, and I, and and again, like with so many offers and all that, I think it's very important important for people to to really start going in and like with the homework. And uh, I recently read, I think it was in Edmunds.com, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that most people now, before they go and buy a car, consult up to 18 websites, which can be a little bit confusing, I would think. You know? So, <laughs> yeah. what's, what's, what's your take on that? You know, overwhelming. That's why we like to be the one resource that we like people to come and, and stay. But of course, you know, it is good to check a number of sources. And one of the things that we provide is we're a pricing guide. So we set prices for new cars and used cars and trade-in. And I tell people, you really, you should consult all of the pricing guides that you can because there's NADA and there's also Kelly Blue Book, and why wouldn't you check them all? It only takes three or four minutes. Yeah, there's a lot of information available. Yeah. I mean, it's... So you might as well. But then if you start bouncing around too much on the Internet, uh, you do get confused and you forget where you read stuff. And that, sometimes it's hard to know what to trust. So if, if we can uh, make a, a little uh, hit list or something, like three things that people should take into while doing, after doing this homework before going to a dealership, what would you say? Three things. <laughs> Um, well, of course, um, either check your credit rating okay. or apply for independent financing. So that would be like the first step, and that lets you know where you are. We have a financial calculator which allows you to check. Uh, you, we call it an affordability calculator. Okay. And basically, based on your income, it'll tell you what your monthly payment okay. or the purchase price of the car should be. So that's number two. And then number three would be check to see what manufacturer financing is available. We have a place on Edmonds where you can check incentives and rebates. And one of the big incentives is low interest financing. Excellent. And if you could get zero, one or two percent, I mean, that would be awesome. Yeah, it's rare, uh, but it can happen, right? 
That's right. Exactly. Well, uh, Philip Reed from uh, Edmunds.com, thank you very much for your time and great tips. Uh, hopefully, people will take advantage of that. And again, it's Edmunds.com where you can find all the information about uh, the process of buying a car, all the models, all the prices, all the specs and all that. Thank you very much, Philip Reed. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Bueno, ahí tienen información muy valiosa a la hora de ir a comprar. No se dejen revisar el crédito eh, tantas veces cuando vayan al consumo, al, al dealer, sí, porque eso a la larga les va a afectar. Traten de hacer el financiamiento antes en un credit union. Traten de eh, evitar toda la negociación posible sobre la financiación antes de estar en el concesionario. Y de esa manera van a tener eh, la ventaja sobre el, eh, el vendedor. Eh, obviamente está ahí para hacer un negocio, para ganar dinero, pero eh, ustedes también pueden eh, tener ventaja al llevar toda esa información por escrito. Así que ahí tienen los consejos eh, de Philip Rip, eh, consejero del consumidor de Edmunds.com. Y cuando regresemos en el tercer segmento de este show, vamos a hablar de los autos que podrían estar comprando en los próximos meses. Eh, vamos a hablar de la lista del premio al auto mundial del año que se entregará en el auto show de Nueva York la semana próxima vamos a estar hablando con uno de los jueces John McCormick uno de los eh, que eligieron al auto mundial del año 2013 esto es Auto 060 yo soy Javier Mota